But basically in this teaching on Deuteronomy 111, memorize that scripture. It's a powerful verse. One of my favorite verses to decree on prosperity when Moses spoke over Israel and said, the Lord increase you a thousand times more, a thousand times more. What a word of multiplication, whether it's your business, your finances, favor, grace, wisdom, power, anointing, whatever it is, we'll be living for increase. Psalms 115 and verse 14, the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children. So this is not just for you, it's for your children, it's for your seed as well. So I want you to receive this word, hear it. It is a prophetic word that God has given me as we close out this year. Many years ago, I wrote a book called Thousands, which I believe is still available on Amazon.com. Uh, I'm going to redo that book and call it a thousand times more because I want to add some of the quantum teaching. Uh, a thousand is a quantum number. The word quantum means large, sudden, or significant. A uh, thousand is the largest really num number in scripture, even though the term 10,000s is mentioned, even a million is mentioned, it's still the same root word of a thousand. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about, as I did yesterday, the other side of a thousand times more. The other side of a thousand times more. We're going to deal with envy and jealousy. Envy and jealousy. Sometimes the price that you pay for increased multiplication and a thousand times more. So I want you again to please share the broadcast and I believe someone needs to hear this message because there's another side to this. Besides just blessing, favor, prosperity, and increase, you may have to deal with jealousy and envy. And you may have to overcome it if you're going to really walk in the thousand, the thousandfold realm. Uh, if you want to uh, be a partner with me financially uh, in this ministry, remember we do quite a bit around the world and missions projects and water projects. I do a lot in the United States as well. And uh, if you so, I believe that I, I, I decree favor, grace, blessing, prosperity over your life. This month, many have been sowing a hundred and eleven dollar seed based on Deuteronomy one eleven. Some have been sowing seeds of eleven eleven. Whatever you do, try to sow a seed with the number eleven in it. And I'm going to decree Deuteronomy 111 over you that the Lord increase you a thousand times more. There may be someone that wants to. Uh, so a thousand and eleven dollars. I don't think anyone has done that. But if, if the, it says I'm preaching on thousands and the number eleven, you may want to do that. It is really that seed is significant. I believe that's a quantum seed that would break people free into new realms. It might be a sacrifice, but often when you make those kind of sacrifices, especially uh, supporting ministries that are doing apostolic work around the world then my God, according to Philippians 4.19, my God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That was the word that Paul spoke of the Philippian church because they were the only church that supported him. They were the only church that met, sent and, 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 and supported him financially. And so he spoke that word over them. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Also, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, my, I pray and decree that God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you having all sufficiency and all things may abound to every good work. Uh, Psalms uh, 66 and 14, may the Lord bring you into a wealthy place. Proverbs 10, 22, May the blessing of the Lord make rich and God had no sorrow. Psalms 112 verse 3, may wealth and riches be in your house. Um, Psalms 23, may your head be anointed with oil, may your cup run over, overflow, overflow, overflow. Psalms 118, may God send prosperity now. Psalms 35, may God take pleasure in your prosperity. Also Isaiah 48, 17, may the Lord teach you to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. Um, Haggai 1 and 6, may there be no holes in your bag, your purse, your wallet, or your accounts. May you overflow, have abundance. I decree quantum increase, quantum favor, quantum finances, quantum breakthroughs for those that are partnering with me. If you've already done it, I thank you for your seed. I decree it over you. If you're doing it today, look at the giving addresses, cash app at JE Global and PayPal at paypal.me slash Apostle J.E., the number one. You can also give through Venmo, same address, J.E. Global, um, or you can give through Zelle. If you look at the business card in Clubhouse, you'll see all the giving addresses. You can Zelle 
And um, you can also give through Facebook Live by hitting the stars. And um, let me see if we have any stars yet. Uh, 200 stars. Thank you. So some, some, someone gay. Thank you. Uh, you can go to Clubhouse, my profile picture, scroll downward. You'll see all the giving addresses. And you will also have a way of giving directly through Clubhouse. And uh, again, I decree Job 28 and 1. May you find the vein for silver and the vein for gold. May you find the prosperity vein. Isaiah 45. May you, may you discover the hidden riches, the, the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. Father, I decree over their lives, increase multiplication, abundance, favor, and prosperity in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, many have been sowing seeds of 111, some 1111. Have yet anyone to sow 1011? Maybe I challenge some of you to do that today. And um, let's let's see all the things that we're doing, especially our water projects, come to pass and be finished. We're on, we're on number 55 now. We're, we're shooting for 100. We've already completed 55 boreholes and wells, 55 water projects in 17 different nations to provide clean water for those in need in some of the poorest countries of the world, especially the nation of Liberia. I think we've done close to 17 of them there in that, that impoverished nation. So thank you so much. For those that are giving and sowing, I appreciate it. Now, many of you know the story of Saul and David. David was Saul's armor bearer. David played the harp for Saul. The scripture says Saul loved David like his own son. God gave David favor with Saul, brought, Saul brought him into his, into his palace. And yet after David killed Goliath, they sang a song saying, Saul has killed his thousands and David has slain or killed his ten thousands. And it says from that moment on, Saul eyed David. He began to be jealous of David. He began to envy David. And that was the turning point when he began to try to kill David, tried to perse he persecuted David. And much, much of David's, many of David's Psalms were in reference to his, 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 his travels and his trying to escape the persecution from Saul. Uh, much of his oppression came at the hands of Saul. Now notice this, because the people gave David more credit than they gave Saul, Saul became jealous. Now David was the one that killed Goliath. Saul would not go out and fight Goliath. David did. So David was Israel's champion. And when they sang that song, notice that it has the number of thousands. So David has killed, Saul has slain his thousands. Notice they did give credit to Saul. He had killed thousands, but David had killed his ten thousands and Saul became jealous. Now I'm calling this the other side of, 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 of a thousand times more because often when you begin to increase and break through and God begins to multiply you, begins to promote you, begins to give you a bigger platform. There are people that may not love your success. They may become jealous and envious of your success, especially if they don't have the same kind of success. And um, it is something that often you have to deal with if you're going to walk in this level of blessing. There are many people that love the blessing of God. They love promotion. They want increase until it happens. And then for no reason of their own, people become jealous, envious, and people attack them. They can lie on you. They can slander you. They can do all kinds of evil things against you simply out of envy. The scripture says in the book of Proverbs that envy is the rottenness of the bones. It says that jealousy is cruel as the grave. Jealousy can cause people to do cruel things toward a person just because they've enjoyed increase. Now, when you're below someone, when you're on the same level, you don't get many, many people's attention. They don't really care. As uh, long as you're not doing as well as them, but the moment you surpass people, the moment you do more than other people, some people. Now, there are people that will celebrate your success. Thank God for that. There are people that will, so everyone doesn't do this. I don't believe that everyone's your hater. Um, there are people that will celebrate you and thank God that you're being blessed. Those are good people. They're, they're, not, they're not jealous. They're not envious. They'd love to see others succeed. But there are some people, unfortunately, that will yield to a demon of envy, 
a demon of jealousy, causing to be cruel toward you, to hate you, to persecute you, to come against you. And so this is the result of David's success in battle. He had slain tens of thousands. Saul had slain thousands. And David did not tell them to sing this song. The women sang the song. And David found himself in the position of being hated and being, being, being the victim of jealousy and envy by Saul, who was the king, which means he had an advantage over David. He was the king. He had the army. He had the power. And he used all of that against David. David found himself in a weak position because he's fighting against a king. You know, it's really amazing when people of power and influence begin to be envious and jealous of you. And they'll use their power and their influence against you. And that's one of the worst situations to be in because you feel as if you're helpless. You feel as if you can't fight back. You don't have the power that these people have. You don't have the influence that they have. So they can try to destroy you. But if God be for you, who can be against you? A thousand will fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it will not come nigh you. One of my favorite thousands verse. A thousand will fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it will not come nigh you. God, David said, I would not be afraid of 10,000s of people that have set themselves against me round about. So no matter how many there be against you, there are more that be for you than be against you. Remember, God has thousands times thousands of angels or thousands, 10,000s times 10,000s of angels ministered in the book of Daniel to the, to the, to the king. And that's 100 million. So there more than be more than be for you than be against you. Always remember that you're not alone. Um, even when Elijah thought he was alone, God said, I've got 7,000 in Israel that have not bowed the knee to Baal nor kissed his feet. There's that use of the term thousand again. So it's a powerful number in scripture. And I want you to believe that in spite of, 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 of jealousy and envy, you will overcome. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. We have victory. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. God will set you free. God will protect you from the hatred and jealousy and envy of the enemy. And God will turn every curse into a blessing. Believe God. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into your own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Matter of fact, bless your enemies. Do good to them that use you, that 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 despitefully use you. You'll hear that you can do, but expect it. Don't worry about it. Don't get afraid. Just be aware of it. That when it happens, you'll not be wondering what in the world did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. You don't have to do anything wrong. The blessing of the Lord gets the enemy's attention and causes people to hate you and come against you and often be jealous of you. That's the other side of, of uh, increase. That's the other side of a thousand times more. I want to thank all of those that are giving and song. If you came on late and if these messages are blessing you, then feel free to partner with me by going to the giving addresses again at Cash App at JE Global and PayPal at PayPal.me slash Apostle JE, the number one. And try to sow a seed in the month of November with the number 11 in it. Uh, many are sowing seeds of 1111 or 111. And I'm still believing God for some people to sow 1,011. And I decree favor, grace, blessing, multiplication, and increase over your life. May you increase a thousand times more based on Deuteronomy 111. I decree it. I speak it by faith now over those that are sowing and giving and partnering with me this month. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for listening and coming on. I'll come on again tomorrow on the porch every morning. I was a little late today, but usually I'm on at 9.15 a.m. Uh, every morning. Uh, someone just sold 11.22. That's good. You doubled the 11, the second 11 and made it 11.22. God bless you. God bless you. The year of the double. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. God bless you. I'm going to sign off for Facebook Live. We'll continue the discussion in Clubhouse. And until you see me on Facebook Live and hear me again, May God bless you and double shalom.